Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump issued the one presidential pardon liberals have feared since his election. With everyone focused on the controversy surrounding Roseanne Barr, President Donald Trump issued the one presidential pardon that liberals have feared since the day he was elected. You're going to love this. Dinesh D'Souza is undoubtedly one of the most prominent and vocal conservatives in America. The most successful documentary filmmaker of all time, he produced the wildly popular movie 2016, Obama's America. However, while D'Souza has been incredibly successful, his work has also made him a target. While Barack Obama was in office, D'Souza was prosecuted for using a straw donor to make campaign contributions on his behalf which exceeded the established limitations for an individual. Donors rarely face charges for such violations, and the investigation into D'Souza's actions was widely seen as a political witch hunt, but he pleaded guilty to the charges in federal court in 2014. His lawyer argued that the government targeted D'Souza because of his consistently caustic and highly publicized criticism of President Obama. He filed court papers at the time claiming that his client was selectively targeted for felony prosecution because of his outspoken, vigorous and politically controversial criticism and condemnation of the president and his administration. Indeed, the double standard when it comes to these sorts of cases is glaring. For example, Democratic megadonor Rosie O'Donnell was caught using four different names and five different addresses in order to give Democratic candidates as much money as possible. Rosie O'Donnell made illegally oversized campaign donations to at least five Democratic federal candidates, according to a post-analysis of campaign filings. The liberal comedian has regularly broken Federal Election Commission rules limiting the total any one person can give to an individual candidate at $2,700 per election. The limit applies separately to primaries, runoffs and general elections. Source, New York Post. O'Donnell tried to say that she had no idea she had broken the law, claiming, nothing nefarious. I was not choosing to over-donate. If 2,700 is the cutoff, candidates, should refund the money. I don't look to see who I can donate most to, I just donate assuming they do not accept what is over the limit. However, the fact that O'Donnell went to such great lengths to cover her tracks, using so many different names and addresses, would certainly suggest that she was well aware of her wrongdoing and even taking steps to try to make sure she didn't get caught. My anxiety is quelled by donating to those opposing Trump and, his agenda, especially at night, when most of these were placed, added the liberal comedian. D'Souza ultimately avoided jail time in his case but was confined for eight months in a halfway house, given five years probation, and ordered to pay a $30,000 fine. However, it was announced today that he will be granted a full pardon by President Donald Trump, who agreed that it was absolutely ridiculous to prosecute the filmmaker for something prominent Democrats have always gotten away with. In announcing the pardon, Trump said D'Souza was treated very unfairly by our government. Preet Bharara, the U.S. attorney who prosecuted D'Souza's case, was fired by President Trump after refusing to resign when Trump transitioned to his role in the White House. D'Souza has claimed his case files show the Obama-era attorney sought prosecution for political reasons. There's evidence in this case file, and there's a lot more, that this was a political prosecution conducted by Bharara as a henchman for the Obama administration, he said. Of course. The Democrats are not happy about the fact that President Trump will pardon Dinesh D'Souza. However, they really can't complain without looking like a bunch of hypocrites, which makes this news even sweeter. Share this report if you're thrilled to hear that D'Souza has finally been vindicated. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.